Derek Hill and uh, I used to race for about eight nine years uh, in various formula series formula 3000 for about two three seasons now we're here at Monza uh, where I used to race uh, many years ago uh, to honor my father's championship they decided to do a Phil Hill trophy race which is for one and a half liter cars which in 1961 that was the displacement for Formula One. Also, I'll be driving this weekend in uh, a 64 AC Cobra 289. <laughs> Here we are at the exit of the famous Monza banking that they used to run many, many years ago. It's still here, it's obviously wearing out, but uh, here we are today with the recreation Shark Nose 156 Ferrari. It's emotional because I know that my father put so much on the line to achieve this kind of success. Uh, he lost so many teammates at Ferrari. It was such an incredibly dangerous period of motor racing. And uh, what he won here, he also had the had to face the tragic circumstances of his teammate, Wolfgang von Trips, who was also his friend, being killed in the race. My father always liked taking pictures when he wasn't driving. He was always a, a big fan of, of everything about automobiles. He also wanted to capture the sights and the scenes of motor racing to be able to share this with the people back home who didn't get to see so much of what he was doing over here in Europe. For the pictures he was taking, he always used his Leica, a very high quality camera, and he was shooting in color, Kodachrome of the day. And so these images are well preserved um, in their color and their fantastic photographs. I think it was right in that time period where color photography was just coming on and there were still many professionals shooting in black and white, but a lot of people started shooting in color and he always preferred that. Everything he did in his life, he always went for the best. And whether it was the cars he was driving, uh, the music that he enjoyed so much, or even for taking pictures, he, he always wanted to have the highest in quality no matter what he was using. And uh, we're glad because now we have some some great pictures. For the last six, seven years, we've been working on getting the stories. While my father was still alive, he was documenting where the photographs were taken and what, what they were all about. Steve Dawson, uh, who got all the stories from my father and helped compile all the images, and uh, Doug Nye, a famous motorsport book author from England, is helping us. 